Klein remarks that Eddie is trying to make some amends for a story he tells in his book about me driving my daughter to university and the impact of that trip and my absence on the fiscal costs of the first health care agreement. <laughs> you have to read his book, and actually Eddie's getting a free plug from his book, <laughs> which he now owes me for. Ian Brody, who I also had the privilege to work with when he was chief of staff to the prime minister, Ian had a great understanding of the institutional roles and responsibilities of government and the public service and the importance of building an effective and respectful working relationship between the new government and the public service. I wish him very well in his new position. And two great public service colleagues, David Dodge, who I believe his career has set the gold standard for public service leadership and who is simply, I think, one of the best Canadian public servants ever. David. And Wayne Waters, the new clerk of the Privy Council, who has the wisdom, the experience, the integrity, and the trust to provide strong leadership to the public service of Canada. We are all fortunate to have Wayne at the helm. Wayne, all the best. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank the Public Policy Forum under its dynamic president, David Mitchell, and its chair, my friend, David Brown, for organizing tonight's dinner along with their sponsors. This is simply an amazing evening. Certainly for me and my family, my wife Karen, my daughter Erin, and my son Ken, but also I believe for public service and for public servants more generally. Most public servants are deeply committed to what they do and care very passionately about their country. Churchill once remarked that, quote, mountaintops inspire leaders, but valleys mature them. I think every public sector leader in this room knows this and has lived this. En guise de mot de départ, j'aimerais vous présenter deux observations au sujet de la fonction publique. Tout d'abord, son importance. J'estime qu'il y a une étroite corrélation entre des saints politiques publics et une fonction publique excellente. Comme l'a mentionné Tom Friedman, quote, dans le cadre de la mondialisation, l'un des avantages les plus importants et les plus durables qu'un pays peut avoir aujourd'hui consiste à disposer d'une fonction publique bien gérée, efficiente et honnête. Autrement dit, une fonction publique excellente peut faire partie de l'avantage comparatif d'un pays, and that, I believe, is the case in Canada. Now, Canada's experience has been that the democratic values, the ethic of serving the public good, the professionalism, the nonpartisanship, and the commitment to characterize the public service of Canada underpin its role as a fundamental national institution. And that is why public service renewal is so crucial, not just to the public service, but to every Canadian, to attract and retain the next generation of leaders, to ensure that Canada continues to have a strong public service, one geared to excellence and one capable of tackling tomorrow's challenges as well as it tackled today's and yesterday's. Secondly, and this is, I think, the group tonight really exemplifies this, private sector interaction with the public service matters. Your support, your involvement, your validation are crucial to the development of an excellent public service and the making of good public policy. Canada's success will depend on our agility as a country, our flexibility, our capacity to learn from others, and our willingness to implement the right long-term public policies at the right time. We have to think globally to succeed domestically. And this is going to require intensive interaction, and probably more intensive than we've had for a while, between the private and public sectors. Good public policy doesn't happen by accident. It's the result of constructive dialogue and engagement between government at all levels, both political and bureaucratic, with the, wiser, with the wider Canadian community, both business and non-governmental sectors. Canada is a big, diverse, and complex country. We need to guard against becoming locked into our regional perspectives or narrow points of view. We need to reach out. We need to stay connected. We need to strive to understand the difficult challenges and trade-offs that are a part of sound and enduring public policy. Exploring the complexities, understanding the different points of view, building common ground, these are all difficult, but they are essential if we are to find the best public policy solutions. 
I want to conclude by thanking the Public Service of Canada for providing me with unbelievable career possibilities and opportunities to make a difference to the country that I've served for 33 years. My positions as Deputy Minister of Finance, Deputy Minister of Industry and Clerk have afforded me extraordinary opportunities to meet with Canadians from coast to coast to coast, to interact with world leaders, to very much experience history being made. As some mentioned, my two extended trips to Afghanistan were truly life-changing. My visit to Canada's north uh, over a number of years underscored as nothing else how unique and special being a northern country really is. And my time spent with our armed forces provided a really unique understanding of what commitment to country and commitment to purpose really mean. A visit to New York after the financial crisis reinforced how the public policy choices we've made in Canada really have made a positive difference. To do all this, um, it wouldn't be possible without an extraordinarily kind of talented group of colleagues. I am extremely, extremely proud um, and blessed to have worked with some of the most outstanding Canadians during the course of my career. Many of them are in the room here tonight. And it really is, I think, a huge asset to this country that you're willing to dedicate kind of your lives, your energy, your intellect uh, to the public service. My family, my wife Karen in particular, again, has been an outstanding kind of, um, kind of contributor to my ability, as many have mentioned, uh, and she'll mention afterwards, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to in fact receive the comments tonight. And I also want to thank Angel Delisle, who has worked with me now for... Twenty-four years, and as the best kind of public servant I've ever worked with, and an extraordinary great colleague. Most of all, my career has left me optimistic that whatever the challenges, working together, Canadians will succeed, and this great country will continue to prosper and to inspire. Thank you very much, Messi.